As you know, I'm Kainton the Genius, and today we are going to continue with tutorial 12 of our social API application using Spring Boot. So in the previous tutorial, we wrote a method to retrieve lists of users from the API. Today we are going to use the business service. So first let me see, okay, so if you remember, we wrote a method that says get all users, and we wrote this method in our controller class. So today what we are going to do is that we are going to move this method away from the controller class into the business service. Before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button, the right subscribe button below this video. So it kind of motivates me to continue making these lessons and also you get notified when I make new lessons. And also if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below for me and I'm going to respond to you in no time. So just subscribe to get updates. All right, so we are going to move the this methods away from the controller into the business service. As I mentioned before, when a request comes from the browser, the br somebody goes to the browser and types blah, 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 slash users, this request comes to the controller, and now the controller is going to talk to the business service to retrieve whatever data it wants from the business service. So the actual logic have to be in the business service, and that is achieved by the principle of dependency injection. Everything is explained here on the website, so take some time to read it up. And also, uh, there is a link where you can watch uh, what dependency injection is all about uh, right here in this link. All right? In this link, you can see. So let's move this method, this get all users away from the user service, from the user controller to the user service. So I'm going to maximize the window for now, and I'm going to copy this. Let's cut it because it has to completely move away from here. Control V. So here in the user service, there is another change you need to make. We need a list of users to be uh, created as a list of users, not inside this method. So I'm going to take out this. I'm, I'm going to create a list of users outside the get all users method. The reason is because, so we want just a copy of this list to exist list user users equals so when we want list of users we simply uh, get it from that place so we simply say return users so in this case what we have now is we have a list of users existing just one copy of this list of users existing and now we are going to be asking the business service to give us list of users and the business service is simply going to return this list of users so now in the controller, we are going to write this same method, but we are not going to be writing any logic. We are simply going to get this uh, list from the business service. Before we can do that, we need to create a private variable of the business service in the controller file. So if we create this private variable, it's going to just be one copy of this business service existing and we are going to allow Spring Boot to provide anything we want without having to be creating new objects every time. So what we are going to say is we are going to say private uh, user service user service. So to enable dependency injection, what we are going to simply say is at auto wired. So what this guarantees is that. When the application starts up, we have only one copy of this service. So we are not going to be creating new objects every time. All right, so let's continue. So now we are going to write this method again, but this time, this, this time we are going to get the data from the, user, from the business service. So we are going to say public uh, list, list of user, uh, gets, all users okay so and now we are going to simply say user service 
upon user service dot uh, users. see hold on let's see so return user service dot get all users actually so return user service dot get all users so let, let's just make sure we are following the right procedure so um let's see so return user service dot get all users so that is what we are going to do Return user service that get all users. So I'm going to close this process. So now what we've succeeded in doing, we've succeeded in moving the logic away from the controller to the business service. So take some time to get around, get your head around it, and you see that it becomes clearer and clearer. I'm going to test it to make sure everything works perfectly well. So I'm going to run this application by right-clicking here and choosing runners, and I'm going to run it as Spring Boot application. And after now. So it takes some time to start off. Maybe I'll just hide my taskbar. So let me just uh, go to toolbar setting and I'm going to just automatically hide taskbar. Okay, so that will have some room. All right, so as you can see, you can see that uh, in the console here, everything is running. So you can see here. So I'm going to now go to the browser I'm going to maximize this for a minute and I'm going to try to retrieve a list of users by saying localhost and I'm going to go to users. So you can see it gives me the list of users but this time this list of users is coming from the business service. So let's do it a couple of times more for the post service and also for the the the, the location service and it becomes a, a, a bit more clearer. So let me clear my console. Let me stop the application first and clear my console. Clear the console and make some room here. So now let's now go to the next one. Uh, let's see, the next one should be the post service. So this is a post service. So what we are going to do, we are going to open the post controller file and then move the get all posts away from the controller to the post service. So I'm going to open the post controller and I'm going to move this away from here to the post service, right? All right. So it's going to be in the post service space in there and what we are going to do also is to take this out of the method to be on its own. So, all right. So at this point, we can now say, uh, so we can now say list of posts. Is equal to should now be equal to this all right so let me make some room here and now in this get all post methods let me write it correctly so I'm going to simply return posts all right so this post here is this list of posts we have here all right so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the post controller file and then first I'm going to auto wire the post service into this controller file. So I'm going to say uh, post service post service. It's going to be a private variable of this class post service, private post service post service and I'm going to auto wire it. So adds auto wired. Okay. So that is what you always need to do. So add the imports. And the next thing we are going to do, let me just make sure this is fine. So the next thing we are going to do we are going to write public 
get all posts and it's going to return post service dot get all posts so it's as simple as this so why do we have this error here public list of posts get all posts so request mapping so you just import it from this bean annotation and also add the import for this as well so add java.util.list get all posts so let's add a return statement all right so we are done with the post service as well so let's do it finally this time again you have the procedure here so you can follow it so again we are going to do it for the location service so i'm going to open the the location uh the location package and i'm going to go to the controller again i'm going to let me just make some room by expanding this i'm going to copy this let's copy it and then i'm going to paste it in the location service all right so again we want this to be outside the methods so we are just going to say list of location equals all right so i'm going to maximize this window to make some more room so i'm going to come here and say return locations and that ends what we are going to do in the business service the location service so i'm going to go to the location controller let me just also take these because i'm writing a function with exactly the same name or basically i can just delete all these and i'm going to simply say return okay remember we first need to write a private variable of the business service so pri a private member uh, member variable of the business service so private location service location service so it looks kind of uh, more complicated but if you do it a couple of times you find out that it is really very easy and that is what you should actually be doing so we auto wire it into the controller as well so add imports as well and now i'm going to return uh, from the location service so i'm going to say location location service dot get all locations so at this point we've added uh the business service for all the classes we have for all our objects the users the location and the posts and we've complied with the best practices uh, by using dependency injection all right so it's now time for us to test this application to see that everything works perfectly or everything works fine again i would like to tell you that all the steps and all the code snippets for this tutorial is here if you look at the description box you'll see a link to this place and you can see all the steps to follow in this place so let me run this application and then we test it and make sure everything is working fine so i'm going to just click on here to relaunch the application so you see everything starts up as you can see it tells us that tomcat started at port 80 80 all right so as you can see so I'm going to go to my browser and try to uh, uh, do a get to, to, uh, to the users, the location and the post. So users, everything works fine. So let's go for post. Everything works fine. And finally, let's go for locations. Everything works fine as well. So we've written the get methods. So let's see where we are. So we succeeded in using the business service and we've written the get method and we've applied dependency injection we've got to wire our business service into our controller file and now our controller file can actually talk to the business service in the next lesson we are now going to write functions to return a single item like get item by id i'd like to thank you for viewing remind you to subscribe and also like this video and we are going to see in the next lesson